Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to be attempting the impossible, beating elite phase on Cracked with only water. This challenge was so darn hard that Macanoos, a YouTuber with 50,000 subscribers that uploads pretty much every challenge idea you can name in the book from A through Z, has said this is impossible. He even jokingly offered me a million dollars for it. By the way, if you're not subscribed, it would be huge if you subscribe. It would make it would help me make more videos like this. Now let's get into it. First of all, we start with a boat. We go for merchantmen because that's the only income source we have in water. We actually there actually is more income sources, but for for the more income sources you need to freeze water, which would and to freeze water you need a, you need a carrier flagship. We will be freezing water later, and we will be abusing that. But right now we cannot afford carrier flagship, so we can't freeze water. Therefore, the only income sources we have is merchantmen, which is what we get. We also try to minimize life loss. We minimize life loss because if a balloon exits the track, you do not get any money from popping it. And yeah, we need to maximize every dollar and penny pinch as hard as we can. For tier 1, I get a, a carrier flagship into an elite defender. I sell a merchantman for aircraft carrier. Sorry for the edit, by the way. I'm gonna explain what I did later. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the edit. Anyway, uh, what I did here was I got a carrier flagship, then got an ice, and then two ices, uh, two ices like uh, beneath it. Sold the carrier flagship, and then got a city. Then, uh, then got a monkeyopolis. If you're wondering why did I uh, absorb an IMF flown into it, well, I absorbed an IMF flown into the opolis because it makes. It, because we need to milk out every bit of cash we have for the space. In this map, we don't have very much space. So we gotta milk out pretty much everything we have. Which is what we do. We go for like traps and everything in range of the city to milk out ev everything we got. Then we go, go for an elite defender. We get jungle drums and leak as much as- we, we try to leak as many less as possible while not dying. For the elite defender attack speed boost. We barely kill it before the end of the track on round 54 with 17 lives, which is perfect. We kept an opolis, we kept a trap, and yeah, this is perfect. I sell the elite defender and build farms. I get a favor trades and then go for a and then go for a BRF with an aircraft carrier. I forgot to show you this, but I sold an ice and everything sold. So like everything is, was on water that was placed. But yeah, I've edited it. Sorry. Anyway, I get an overclock on top of the flagship so I can overclock the BRF. Overclocking and ultra boosting BRFs are huge in this thing, because we have to maximize the space as much as possible. We also, I uh, I wanted to, I really want to get Banana Central and then an MAD, but I just couldn't do it. So instead I just opted for getting a MAD and then selling for Central, which really ruins our eco as in this run, as you can see. We go for an ultra boost because we have to maximize space as much as possible for this. We get 10x ultra boost because we have to be hyper efficient with the space, considering we only have space for an opolis and a farm. After that, we sell opolis for homeland defense and try to get like a mad to work for tier 3. Sadly, it's the D DPS is a, a bit insufficient, so it ends up failing. I get a flying fortress and a homeland, but spoiler alert, it still failed. I forgot to edit out the loss, but trust me, we lost. Now for attempt two. I found a better carrier flagship place that 
where I could fit as much as I need. I could fit an Ultra Boost, an MAD, a Ray of Doom, uh, a Monkey, a Monkeyopolis, and a Banana Central. And all frozen in water. Using this tool, this is what we're going to be using for the next run. So after, so the early game is roughly the same. We just try to like micro the same as usual to le like not leak lives, and then it's pretty much the same here. Later on, there will there will be differences though. I tried strong targeting, which I didn't do on the first run, but it wasn't that effective. We still leaked a lot in round 15. So, but yeah. I then go for five more men. Same as usual. Sadly, with a hero, I cannot place Ezeli down. Ezeli does not place in the water. You could technically place it if, like, if you, like, freeze Ezeli and, like, just place it on, like, the ice platform, but that's just not effective. It's not worth a space. Sadly, Brickle, Brickle was not enabled this week, or Geraldo. Both would have helped tremendously. Anyways. This time I actually don't don't forget to I mean this time I actually do not like edit the part where I get the carrier flagship so you can actually see what I do here. On round 49 I sell the favorite trades besides one of them, sell the carrier flagship and then go for the opolis like what I did. The opolis is frozen on water because it has like the ice platform below it, which is perfect. We then go for traps, and we do the same elite defender tactic. As you can see, I sold the ice and everything sold. So I do the same elite defender tactic. But this time, this time is different. This time, I get like the perfect amount of leaks in star round 50. Stalling round 50 is very good, because it gives us more time to farm. This time we kill out round 53 instead of 54. You might think one round makes like a very small difference, but trust me, it makes a huge difference. Considering the eco is this tight. Instead of going for an aircraft carrier, we defend as little as possible with just a banana farm, an overclock, and just a monkey pirate. That's a very cheap defense that we're gonna use. I also sell the ice just to confirm everything is placed on water. Tier 2, immediately I rush mad to get the boss over with, so I could farm as hard as possible. The goal here is to stall the rounds as much as possible so I kill the boss before round 63, because ceramics are just annoying to deal with with like just an MAD. It sucks with ceramics. So to do so, we stall the rounds as much as possible, plus it gives us extra farms, extra farm gain. We abuse the snowstorms to stall, which we already have, like recycling re resources. We use a struggle glue to stall as much as possible, and then yeah. We also use the snowstorm ability and target the bad so we leak le less lives, just to stall a little bit more. We want to kill her on round 62, which as you can see here is going to be very tight. Even with the snowstorm ability and stalling as much as possible, we it's still very tight. We outbuff the mad for a little bit more DPS that just goes a long way into stalling Route 62. As you can see, we barely beat out Route 62, but we did it. I sold the ice and everything, everything was placed on land because everything got sold. Now we're actually kind of poor, but what's nice here is we have no boss to deal with. We only- all we have to do now is farm. Farm, farm, and farm. And as you can see, a monkey pirate just does a defense. We do not need to carry a carrier flagship like we did last time. We get Banana Central way, way, way earlier on round 70. 
and they get Ultra Boost way earlier on round 73. Plus, as an added bonus, Monkey Pirate stalls around. Stalling the round is very good too, because it makes the Badass Head it makes the Ultra Boost have more time to Ultra Boost the Badass Central, which is a big deal. Now we go for aircraft carrier because because 75 is way too hard to deal with with just with um just the pirates. But but aircraft carrier is plenty and it sells pretty well. Also for tier 3, a no paragon defense just sucked. Instead, we're opting for dark paragon. Dark paragon is very good here because unlike the ranked elite phase with the four squares, this this time we actually have spots with like good paragon placements. So we, so dark paragon is good. If you're wondering why not boom a paragon Zeret, why not? Well, it's because Dart it gets a two cross for Master, so it's degree 30, so it's way better. Usually, Boomer is better though. I also sell the Carrier Flagship just to confirm everything's on water, and bada bang bada boom, it is. Cha ching! We also aim the Mad just to just to get phase in the slow phase. When it's in its shield phase, it's way faster, so we want to get the phase out of its shield phase very quickly. We also use a mad to anti stall rounds. And eventually, we get the Paragon for tier 3, which absolutely shreds. I also have tr trouble placing the, do placing the fave on it. As you can see, just another check. I sell the carrier and everything got sold, which means everything's on water. Then I go for Flying Fortress to farm Pops. We need Pops because we need a degree 40 Ace Paragon on tier 5. You actually, I've, I've seen people do it with degree 20, but you need a bug to do it, which I'm not going to use. Tier 4 is the same concept as tier 3. We got Dark Paragon just to do the, uh, the, uh, the, what's it called, the fast phase. And then it goes in like... The non-shield phase, which is where it's way slower, and yeah. We also get three aces, and they, and they were barely frozen. If they have like a frozen platform under them, it means they're part of the water. Anyway, we managed to get degree 40 ace for tier 5. Even with that, it, it was very tight. Spoilers. We, I try Ace Biker here as best as I can, and you could laugh about my Ace Biker, but it's a, as best as I can do it. We also use the um, Absolute Zero Ice to install the ZOMG so the Ace Paragon has more time to pop it. I didn't record the failed attempts, but I've actually lost to Ceramics on Tier 5 Elite Phase, which is like so funny. You you lose to Ceramics on Tier 5 Elite Phase, but you don't even lose to the boss itself. Anyway, we get an absolute zero to slow the, down the things, and bada bang bada boom, we won. That's how I beat Ranked Elite Phase with only, with only the water. And hope you're having an excellent day, and bye-bye.